Well, that's about as. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, a great day. A great day for us in that um, you know, I didn't sleep very much last night because uh, I worried about a ton of things. Um, not the least of which was, you know, how we were going to be able to enjoy what they deserve to enjoy with their fans and then be able to turn around and get ready and, and, and play, you know, a team that we knew that was going to come out and, and just come out hooping. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, luckily for us, we were able to weather the storm with just as good or almost as good as Athens. So until we could get our defense buckled down, our offense kept us in it. And, uh, and then we buckled down defensively. I thought Renee Montgomery changed the complexion of the game uh, with, with her defense. And uh, it was hard to play against. And, and we held them to 14 in that second quarter. And, and I thought that really gave us a great deal of confidence. Question? And speaking of defense, uh... You forced or scored 30 points off turnovers and plus 16 in rebounds. So how did you clamp down, and uh, what led to that shift where you really pushed, pushed the? Uh... Yeah, we uh, you know great players. We we watched them warm up, and both Whale and I talked, and we said uh, each player that we watched warm up for Phoenix um, had a groove and were knocking down shots, and so we knew that if we weren't on point defensively, get through screens with a sense of urgency. If we didn't beat them to spots. And they got open shots that they would they would have success, and that's exactly what happened. I thought they shot like 75, 80 percent for a long time. And so, what we talked about was at that point we have to disrupt, and so we played in a little more scramble mode, where, where Renee got up in the into the backcourt and, and set the tone a little bit more on Tarasi, uh, trapped her a little bit, got out of her hands, and just tried to change the flow. And I thought that was effective. Uh, we had a greater sense of urgency. Other guards were more aware of screens coming. Um, and we just, you know, just change your approach. I mean, um, you know, you could feel sorry for yourself and say, geez, they're making everything. Or you can say, yeah, they're making everything and they're good players, but we've got to change and disrupt and, and, and change the rhythm. And, and I thought we had a really good approach to that. 15 steals, uh, 27 points, um, you know, fast break points. Um, just It just really got us going. Yesterday you said that it wasn't going to be perfect tonight, but it, it's still pretty good. Uh, could you have imagined this type of performance, you know, given everything, given you know, Simone and Rebecca coming back this week and, and just the first game of the season, things like that? Well, you know, you, you hope that, um, you know, these veterans, they, they really don't need a lot of practice time. You know, I, there is that feeling of wanting to, to gel and the chemistry and the flow. And, and frankly, we didn't have a lot of that, you know, to this point. So, um, again, didn't sleep very much last night because you wonder – what's going to happen and I, I knew that Phoenix was going to be very good offensively and if we weren't able to match it we were really going to have a, a, a big problem so uh, I'm thrilled that Simone came out the way that she did I thought Simone played fantastic um, you know Renee was great defensively and changing the complexion but Simone was the player of the game for us it, it looks like they give you a lot of zone looks defensively especially in the second half why do you think they would do that was it something to avoid foul trouble and was that something that you prepared for well, you know, you do that when you when you're, you're again trying to disrupt flow. I thought we had a pretty good flow about what we were doing. Uh, when they went zone, it slowed us down, made us analyze a little bit. Um, I don't think there's a WNBA team that has spent a significant amount of time uh, running zone. O. Uh, it was on our minds. Um, you know, we actually had plans of playing a little more zone for that reason to try to steal possessions that maybe they wouldn't be as sharp and. Uh, so I think they went to it uh, out of necessity. And then, um, you know, I thought we had some good possessions, but then we had some that obviously showed that we hadn't played against the zone very much. Simone and, and Lindsay both looked like they had healthy legs beneath them for the first time in a long time. Did you sense that in practice over the last couple of days that they were playing with a lot more bounce and a lot more energy because they were healthy? Yeah, um, you know, I, I've been saying that about Lindsay Whalen, that, uh, that, you know, that how good she looks physically and how ready she is. And, and I thought more than anything, it was uh, how Wade managed the game, what her reads and pick and roll. You know, if they're going to give her a foul line jumper, she needs to take it every single time. And, and she did that. And so, you know, I really appreciated her understanding that's what they were going to give her and, and, and uh, stepped up and knocked him down. And then Simone, you know, when she got back from overseas, I didn't know what to expect with her knee. And so when we got a, a clean report, you know, no, no, uh, no, no effusion of any kind. Um, you know, it, it was music to my ears. I didn't think that that's what we would hear. I thought we would have to manage, you know, some things. And, and so, you know, a really clean physical. And so then I said, it's my job to keep her there. And, and whether that means, uh, you know, a game like today, she's just playing really well. It's hard to take her out. 
get her out when you can. Uh, now it's it's uh, away from the game. Now go take time off. You know, be off uh, tomorrow. Probably manage it. You know, a little bit light on Monday. You know, practice and travel Tuesday. And so we're going to do that throughout the season for Simone. You know, I, I feel responsible to keep her exactly where she is. Can you discuss the Fowles Griner matchup tonight? Yeah, I think it was fun to watch. Um, you know, I, I think there was more to do on our end. Um, you know, we, we accomplished some of the things that we were trying to accomplish. Uh, but still, you know, still, you know, obviously rebounded the ball. Uh, some of it was, you know, I think padding her stats, you know, rebounded her own miss. Uh, and, uh, but I thought she ran the floor well. Um, and, and uh, you know, it, it, it's a fun matchup. I'm sure, you know, that, that game's on TV. I'm sure when people are watching, that's just a fun matchup to watch. Both really, really strong players. And, and uh, you know, each team trying to do something different to, you know, gain an advantage. And um, that's, a, that's a fun one. That, that's a fun chess match. With all the stuff going on before the game, you know, what does it kind of mean to send a message that across the league that the champs are back and yeah. just as good as you were? You know, we don't we don't think like that. You know, we just wanted to win our home game. We we wanted to survive. You know, the emotion it's draining. You know, the, these last couple of days. And, you know, really the the weeks uh, starting with going down to Mr. Taylor's house. Uh, you know, to see the rings for the first time. Um, all the way through. You know, the emotion of the first game, and they're very excited. It took forever for the game to start because we're doing all this stuff, and you know, um, we've been you know we've been through it before. So we really tried to manage that emotion of it and and uh, make sure that we were ready when the ball was tipped. So I thought we were ready. I just thought that, you know, defensively, you know, same thing when we started the third. We just didn't uh, do enough to dictate. I thought we were uh, a little more reactive mode. But, um, you know, whatever message it sends, it's fine. We weren't out to send a message other than we were, you know, we, we want to win our home games. And, and, you know, I thought it was a really good start for us. Obviously, the fans were great. Still, do you think Last this, question. Might, this might slow down the uh, Phoenix title pots a little bit? I have no idea. Um, I think anytime you have a Diana Taurasian or Brittany Griner and you know really good players, um, they should be in the title conversation. Thanks everyone. Thanks. Locker rooms open. Did you dress the